Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Forex Professional Course Scalping Strategy Using the Profile In this lesson you will learn Indicator used, installation and where to download them Strategy to scalp every level on the profile Entry criteria Stop loss definition, target profit definition 1-2 risk reward Indicators Please refer to the previous video on the pending order strategy to download and install all the indicators and set them up properly. I added a spread indicator. The link is below this video. For this scalping strategy, we will use the weekly range indicators to define our stop loss and target profit but with a shorter value. And we will spot every level's horizontal plain yellow lines on the weekly analysis profile for MetaTrader 4 that I publish every week. Setup of the trades. You have access every week to a MetaTrader 4 analysis profile published on my Telegram channels where I analyze more than 30 different currency pairs. Another way to take good advantage of it is with a scalping strategy that you can apply to each yellow horizontal lines on the profile. This scalping strategy is aggressive it is a way of trading the M and W pattern from the edge. It gives you the best possible entry at the very top or bottom of the move. Also, you will get a very tight stop loss placed in a quite secure area. This can permit awesome reward when you master it. Here is the process. You receive an alert on Telegram in real time whenever a level of the profile is near. Once you receive it, you go on your chart. So before we go through the complete detail of each element, I will just summarize how works the strategy so you can understand and have a clear view before we explain every part. So on the profile you have all the horizontal lines that are the lines that you will take. And what you will wait is basically a M or a W formation. I will say the price is the blue line, so the price go up like that, up like that. I need the price to touch the line, then reject it, and there is a way to validate this first rejection. And once this rejection is done, we will place an automatic order, not at the extreme top, but just a little below, so we get better odds to get triggered, and the price come back to it, trigger it, and after go in our direction. The other very nice point of this strategy is you will get a very tight stop but not just above the previous high but with some room it will be from 7 sometimes 20 pips depending on the volatility of the pair from your entry point so it gives you a room for your stop loss larger than a traditional uh, entry and it gives you a better entry point which is nearly when you take it the extreme top or bottom of the move so this is for in the case of a resistance, when you will sell, and the opposite is right when the level is at the bottom and the price go down. So you wait for the first leg to be done, touching the level, sorry, with a spike or anything. And after you place your entry point just above, since it's a buy, to get triggered with a stop loss larger than just after the bottom. and getting up. That's the principle of this specific strategy. Then you need to validate your entry. This time you need to wait first a nice rejection from the level of the profile looking at the 15 minute chart. Without a nice rejection at the level there is no trade to place. This is our security. Let's see together what I call a nice rejection directly on last week charts. So to validate a rejection, what we need to have first is this yellow line at the bottom of my chart broken up. 
with wicks or candlestick on the 15 minute chart. Right here, we have the break and the rejection of it. That's the first element you need to know. The second element you need to see, so first you need to break the level, right here. And the second element you need to see a rejection from the level. To validate this rejection, so the first possibility is to have a nice rejection candle. In this specific example, the candlestick that is very nice for me can be this specific pin bar right here, right here, this one, or this one, right here. Those are qualified pin bars. Those pin bars, when the high of this pin bar in this specific example, since we want to buy, is broken up, so we need a candle to break this level and close above this level in this specific example. The opposite side if it's a cell setup. So if I look on my chart right now, you have this, you have this pin bar right here. The top is broken, but the candlestick doesn't close right here. So it is not a validated rejection. But the second pin bar right here, actually there is two right away, is this one. It's broken up and it closed above with this specific candle right here. So this rejection is a validated rejection for me. Let's look at other examples. Same on NotCAD, we talk about my yellow line at the bottom of my chart. You have this pin bar, not broken, not closed, so not rejection yet. Then we have this doji, not really a pin bar. This one didn't close, but this one closed. So when this close right here, this is a qualified first good rejection. Let's look at other example to see other chart pattern and other way to qualify. Singapore GPY, for example, this pattern qualified. So you can see price come to the level, break it, make a pin bar right here, make a pin bar right here. And then this pin bar is broken up and the candle close right here. So this is validation for this specific level. This is a nice rejection, even if there is only one candle going up in the reversal way. This validate our entry. Other example, we are on Euro Singapore and we have this level broken up, nice week, nice rejection. And this time the pattern is not a pin bar, but it's a railroad track. So the railroad track to design to you, it's a candle going up, bullish for example in this specific example and just after that we have a candle going down in the same size this is a railroad track it has the same rejection power than the pin bar so the pin bar is a little body with a long wick and this this pattern or this specific candle has the same power they mean exactly the same thing so the price succeed to go all the way up and reject all the way down in only two candles a side of one candle is a pin bar so for this specific one, when you have this break of the trend line right here, plus the railroad track pattern, when this candlestick close at the same level as the previous one, this is, and another candlestick close below, goes below. Let's look at another example. This one doesn't qualify totally as a pin bar because the wick is not bigger than the body. But as you can see, it's broken up and a candlestick break close above. So this is a confirmed rejection of this specific yellow level. Other example. So make sure you understand. Huh? We go through a lot of examples so you understand exactly what I mean when I talk about rejection. I will take about this dotted yellow line. In the profile, I will not take the dotted line, but this yellow line confirm it. I would make, I would say, an exception of this specific one because there is a round number at this level just before the yellow dotted line. So the price came all the way, it made a railroad track, as you can see. You have a nice railroad track right here, plus a pin bar just before, and after the price closed below. So this is a rejection confirmed totally, the first level, when it touched right here confirm rejection of this specific level. Other example, when this specific example you have a pin bar right here, 
the candlestick doesn't close below so it's not confirmed and the level is confirmed only when this candlestick close below so the rejection is confirmed only at the end of this specific candle right here other example when the level is broken this time the yellow dotted line right here the level make a pin bar right here and the pin bar is closed below bearish pattern this rejection is confirmed we have an entry point on the next time the price come back to it this rejection is confirmed this rejection it's not a pin bar it's a doji the size of the week are equal but the price break up and close up so this rejection right here going up is confirmed also other example so NZDGPY I will take this yellow dotted line so we have nearly a railroad track right here but the price doesn't close above so it's not confirmed and after that you have this railroad track body are equal price break above and close so this rejection is confirmed going up that rejection confirmed next example two more and we're done so this one was very fast to come back at the level but we have this nice doji right here touching the level if it touch or break for me it's validate same and we have this bearish bar that close below the bottom of the doji so it confirms this rejection this is the first rejection confirmed and the last one so that was the last the last one let's come back to the presentation now let's look at the entry definition we now take the turning point of this rejection minus 1 to 5 pips depending on the volatility of the specific pair to define the entry precisely, we use once again the 3 times ADR plus the spread. Let's see that on chart. So let's talk about first the last example of USDCHF. So on this specific example, the level is rejected, the validation is rejected at the end of this specific candle. That is when we place a pending order and for the entry, we take the extreme just made minus the volatility plus the spread as you can see on this pair the spread is 1.5 pips right here and we will use once again the 3 times ADR divided by 100 so in this case we take the number and it will be 1.4 pips so we have the, the top the top just newly created we minus 1.4 pips and we minus 1.5 pips so 3 pips overall so we take this minus 3 pips right here so our entry level I will just move the yellow line so you get it our entry is right here 3 pips below let's do another example so same in this example let me zoom in a little so this is when the rejection is validated we take the extreme of the level then we check the 3 times ADR right here we divide it by 100 so it's 1.5 pips plus the spread and uh, so I compute it this is the extreme 1.5 pips right here plus the spread so let's say 2 pips that's my entry point so I, I modify my yellow line and my entry point will be the extreme minus 1.5 two pips with IC market I have a very tight spread most of the time 0 to 0 0.5 pips maximum so my entry is very tight so my yellow line is my entry point when the price come back to it and as you can see it triggered just right away 15 minutes later right here that's it let's look at another example our rejection is validated when this candle close right here so when this close you will take the extreme right here and you will remove sorry the three times ADR value which is right here 156 pips so it will be 1.5 pips the bottom plus the spread so let me check the bottom is right here and 1.5 pips make it right here right here that would be the entry for this specific pair and let's look at your odd so your odd we have the same level 
rejection is validated only from this specific kernel right here so that's when you will place and in this specific case it will be 2.5 pips 245 divided by 100 so I take the extreme bottom right here and I minus it 2.5 pips plus the spread so it might be around 3 pips maybe 4 so my entry I change with the horizontal yellow line will be around here that's the entry point so I think it's enough example for the entry how you set it so remember you take the newly new low or new high created and you remove depending on the 3 times ADR plus the spread 3 times ADR divided by 100 plus the spread let's come back to the presentation stop loss computation to define our stop loss, we will use the 3 times ADR value like in the pending order strategy. But this time, since first we use the recent rejection added to the confluence of a strong level of support and resistance, we will compute it in a tighter way. The good thing with the ADR value is it is based on the actual volatility of the pair, so it is adapted to the specific pair you are trading. The computation is as follows. You take the 3 times ADR value, you divide it by 10, and then you divide it again by 2. If the ADR value is 175, for example, the computation is 175 divided by 10, 17.5 divided by 2, 8.75 pips. This will be our stop loss value. Then you add 1 pip for the spread. If the value of the spread for the pair is higher, you add more. 3. Stop loss placement. Once again, I use the tool Easy Order, it will compute my sales automatically. I adjust the red line of my stop loss to the value I have just computed. 4. Target Profit This time, the safest way to take your profit, whatever the line, is 2 times your risk. If your stop loss value plus the spread is 7 pips, then your target profit will be 14 pips. This quite tight target profit will increase the win rate. 5. Protection You can protect your position using 1.5 stop loss value as a jump stop or trading stop. 6. Money management I recommend using 2% of your account each trades. Note that this strategy provides around 20 to 30 trades per week and with a risk reward of 1 to 2, if you lose 2 trades and win 1, you will still be break even. You need to win only 33% of all your trades to be profitable. Now let's see the trade placement putting all together on the chart. So here is the euro odd example. So my yellow line has already been moved as a right entry point. So you take the extreme, you minus the 2.5 ADR, 3 times ADR divided by 100 value, plus the spreads so around 3 pips. So you take the bottom and you make 3 pips, so that's your entry point, that's my yellow line right here. I unselect it and I will put now my easy order. So the indicator easy order, this one, you will set to not 1.5 but 2 reward, TP to SL ratio 2. So it will compute automatically 2 reward as every trade that you will place. And I will place the script, so new easy order, it will be a buy limit. Once I have my rejection set, I place my entry point at my yellow line, newly set before the extreme. And my stop loss will be the 24, 25 ADR divided by 2, which is 12.5 uh, pips. So from my yellow line, I compute 12 pips, 13 eventually plus the spread. So 13, yeah, like right here, 164. 16. So my stop loss is set, my target profit is 2 time, and I click on submit and my trade is placed. It doesn't work because it's weekend, I make this video during the weekend. Recap once again, so you place your entry point right here, my yellow line, the stop loss will be, so the 3 times ADR divided by 10, so 25 pips, divided by 2, 13 pips, plus the spread, 13, 14 pips, we are not 1 pips near. So 13 pips, 14 pips, that's my stop loss. And after you click on submit and your trade is placed and it will trade automatically. If it's not triggered during the day, you delete this trade. The ideal setup is when the price come back to the level 
from two to six hours after the first rejection. It's important. So let's look at another example, AutoCAD. So we have defined our entry as the yellow line, so not the extreme, but below the extreme to have more chance. The extreme is here. So below, to get the odds in our favor to get triggered using the one uh, sweet time media divided by 100 plus the spread, so it's around two pips. My, that's my yellow line, and now I'll put my easy order indicator. I set it to two. That's it. And after I put the script, and it will be another time a buy limit since we trade reversal. So my yellow line adds the yellow line. And for the specific stop loss of this specific one, 15 pips, 156 for the sweet time area, divided by 10, 15, divided by 2. So it's around 8 pips, 8 to 9 pips from this line. So I compute 8 pips right here. And this trade will replace automatically and trade automatically. What is good with this specific trade, it, it will make you enter at the exact turning point. And your stop loss is quite safe because if there is any stop hunt, it is likely it will not trigger your stop loss anyway, except if it's during the beginning of the day. That's why you have to delete your order if it's not triggered during the day. You can put an expiration to your order. You just double click on it, you click on expiry, and you make it expire at the end of the day. That's how you place your trade. Let's look at another example. So Singapore JPY, we have this trade, the yellow line. So our rejection was confirmed here. The yellow line is will be our entry point. So using the sweet time idea, divided by 100 plus the spread, so around 2 pips. So same process, I use, I add my easy order, set to 2, and then I place my trade, it will be a buy limit, add my yellow line right here, and the stop loss will be 153 divided by 10, so 15 pips, divided by 2, 8 pips. Tag plus 1 pips for the spread, so you have 9 pips. And as you can see, we had the stop hunt right here, it didn't trigger. And uh, for the protection, when your, once your trade is placed, you place your trailing stop or jumping stop as 1.5. So if you place 9, it will be 9, 13 pips. And as you can see, this one made 14 pips before reversing, so our stop loss would have been to break even and this trade is protected. But you will see most of the time it will touch the two the two reward. It's really a good win rate ratio and it will make your account grow steadily if you place and if you master this specific entry uh, strategy. So that's it for the example. I hope it's clear. If you have any question, you can ask me on Facebook or Telegram. Let's continue the presentation now. To summarize, once the indicators, profile and easy order are installed on your MT4, you wait an alert on my Forex Alert Telegram channel. Once you got an alert, you check the pair for the first yellow horizontal line near the actual price. You wait a 15 minute chart, nice rejection, in the form of a pin bar, a railroad track, or an engulfing candle, confirmed, the broken down or up and closed below or above, or you wait a move of two to three candles rejecting the level nicely. Once the rejection is completed, you will place a limit order reversal type at the recently formed top or bottom, minus 1 to 5 pips to get a better odds to get triggered. You define the value of those 1 to 5 pips using the 3 times ADR divided by 100 plus the spread. Then we compute our stop loss. We use the 3 times ADR divided by 10 and divided again by 2 plus the spread. Then we place the trade. And at the same time with easy order, we set the two rewards as a target profit. You can learn how to get more rewards and sometimes 10 and more using this entry strategy by learning my complete Forex course. Contact me on Telegram if you need. You can protect now your trade using a jumping or trailing stop with the value of 1.5 times your stop loss value. I advise you to use maximum 2% of your account on each trade. The win rate has been from 55 to 65% in the last 5 months profiles. All is real and can be checked in my Telegram channels.
This is the end of the lesson. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alert and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market. It's a true ECN low spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.